Howdy y'all, welcome back to Cam Shack Productions. I wanna talk about why I think that if you are a professional landscape photographer or if you are a YouTube outdoor vlogger or YouTuber, why I would not recommend picking up one of these camera specific type bags. Um, and there is a million of them out there. This is just the one that I chose when I first started my career as a professional photographer, videographer. Uh, and I thought that this backpack was going to do all and save all and be the best thing that I could possibly use. However, it has turned out to basically be a glorified suitcase for me. Um, this bag definitely has some really cool features to it. Uh, I love how professional this bag looks. I think that the Molly panels on the outside of it look really cool. It allows you to attach a lot of things to it, um, but in overall practicality, this bag can be really difficult to kind of work with. Specifically, this video is going to be why I would not do this for, again, landscape, videography, something where you're gonna be YouTubing and you're gonna be vlogging or something like that. If you're gonna be in the outdoors, this is definitely not the pack for you. If you're gonna be working with clients, if you're gonna be setting this backpack down a lot, if you're going to be traveling on a plane or something like that, yeah, I think this bag is great. Um, but again, for landscape and things like that, this backpack just is not gonna work. First of all, if you wanna be able to access the inside of this bag, everything happens here on the inside which is great because that also means that somebody can't walk up behind you, unzip your bag and steal everything. But if you utilize these front pieces like I just did, before you can actually set your bag down and get your camera gear, unless you wanna squish your gimbal or your tripod, something like that, you actually have to remove all of this stuff. Uh, not necessarily the tripod on the side, but I'm just gonna do it so that it doesn't bang around a whole lot while we're talking about this stuff. But to get to your gear, you actually have to be able to zip this whole piece down, and that is how you access this bag. Now, there is a pocket on the top that you can access your main camera, but if you have the dividers in like I do, once you pop this top, you can pull out your camera, uh, and this is actually my, uh, my backup camera. Um, but you can see, that you've got your divide there so you can't access all the other things. I think this backpack works really, really well if you're going to be talking and dealing with clients. If you're a street photographer, uh, don't try to carry it through events. It just doesn't work. Um, and you know, it really is. It's, it's a really nice bag. Uh, it definitely separates a lot of things out. Um, and you know, it kind of gives you a lot of organization. Everything's got a place, everything fits well. And when you're working and you can set this thing down and it goes really fast, that's great. Um, but there's some things that you'll notice about this bag that you don't have. Uh, I don't really, unless I have my camera out, I don't really have a place where I can put a jacket or something like that, you know? I can't really stuff my lunch, snacks, rain gear. Um, I mean, I can carry my laptop. Uh, I've got a sleeve for my laptop, but I don't have a place where I can put my camel back in. Um, and, you know, I think there are a few camera bag companies that make an outdoor backpack. Um, I think Shimono makes them. Uh, you know, I think there's some pretty good ones out there. But I keep looking at this going, when I'm out, I don't really need all of this. Uh, when I'm out on the trail, I need a backpack that can handle being on the trail. I need a backpack that can hold my gear, that can hold my sleeping bag, that can hold my tent if I'm going for a longer day trips uh, or if I'm going overnight, you know. This is not gonna cut that. So, and this bag is $399 for the new version of this thing. Um, it is super duper expensive. <laughs> Um, and that's not even like the most expensive. That nomadic Peter McKinnon bag, I think is $400, $500 and no shade. Again, they're super nice looking bags. They look really good, but it is not what I would do if I had the chance to do all of this again. So let me take a second and let me actually show you all what I do. The very first thing that I would recommend is find your backpack. You know, uh, there is a million options out there you can get all kinds of backpacks that are made by companies that actually all they do is make backpacks that are supposed to handle heavier loads and survive the outdoors. Um, so, you know, what I recommend is just, you know, 
Choose your pack based on what you're looking for. Uh, my favorite pack right now is actually this REI pack. Um, it is a very reasonable price. It is $200. So that's $200 less than that uh, low Alpen pack, whatever the black one that I have. Uh, that's like almost $100 or $200 less than the Peter McKinnon bag, any of those things. Um, and this comes with actual features which are designed to be outdoors. And you know, the nice thing about this is that inside of here, I can have all of the gear that I actually need. Extra warm clothes, puffy jacket, rain jacket, first aid kit, emergency kit, water bladder, which again, super duper nice. And in this pack, I get great pockets on the sides where I can slide tripods. There's a great big front pocket right here where I can actually just slide my gimbal in and it lives in there and I can strap it down with my paracord bracelet right here. Uh, it's got a place where I can designate my poles. Um, it's got a huge brain that can come on and off on this pack so I can take it on and off. Uh, it's got a cell phone pocket. It's got hip pockets that are actually large enough for me to be able to put like real snacks in here instead of like my other backpack where the pockets are so small that you can barely fit anything in them. Um, and you know, it really is just designed to work better. Uh, one of the things that I have been doing lately is instead of using like my camera clip because I spent a lot of time in the desert um, and the sand and the wind constantly blowing can be really hard on your gear. So I have just been taking my, again, nicer camera case and I just put it in the front of me and then I take my camera and I stick it right inside of there and that way I always have access to it because I can tell you this, if you take your camera and you put it inside your backpack, you're not gonna shoot photos anymore. So I think you can pick one of these up and it doesn't have to be this really nice one, uh, but you can pick one of these up for like $15. Um, and you can actually use that instead of, um, you know, I have my uh, low pro connector on my, my camera that I can just attach right to my bag. But then my camera dangles, it gets beat up by the wind. Um, so, you know, I'll use that at times, but I have been really moving towards this and it's nice. It just sits right on my chest as I walk around. It's really, really easy. And again, 15 bucks. So first priority, pick a backpack you like. Go get fitted, go find the right size, get a size that you think you need, get something that will fit the weight that you need. Uh, this backpack is so nice because it's so light that I can carry it on day trips. I can take the brain off. I can remove a bunch of things and make it even lighter. Um, or I can load this up with everything I need for like a three day trip, no problem. So it's really versatile for me. And you know, I have a bunch of different backpacks and with all of this stuff, you can take any of these things and basically do that. You can use your camera bag on any backpack that you have. Um, something else that I highly recommend is go look and see if you want to get a cube of some sort, you know? Um, these are pretty nice because it's an insert that you can custom build out. You can put your cameras, you know, uh, all your batteries, everything right in here, uh, your filters, batteries can drop in here. Uh, you can pop an extra lens right in here. You can put your lights in. Um, you know, you got your GoPro batteries. So basically everything that I had in my little backpack over there, aside from my backup camera, because again, usually when I'm going on a long hike or something like that, I'm not gonna carry that, but it's now in here. You can pick up, I think, this very same bag right now for like $24. Uh, and it says that it's water resistance and you know, I don't really believe all of that, but it is nice to just be able to put this in. You can drop it right inside your backpack. And as you can see, I got plenty of room still. And then when you need your camera gear, you can just pull it 
right back out. So this is really easy. Um, if you want to go even simpler than that, you can break up your gear. Uh, and I actually find this is something that I do more than I probably should. Uh, you know, I can take one of my bags here, throw my body in it. And then I also picked up these little lens cover things. Uh, I think I got a set of like five of them and they range from telephoto really long to uh, uh, basically a 50 millimeter. Um, but you can take your lenses, you can drop those inside of one of these. Then you get your protection for your lens. Take that, drop it in here, throw your extra batteries in here, throw your filters in here, put your GoPro battery in the pocket, or uh, GoPro batteries in here, put your tripod in one of the side pockets, throw your lights in here, Between those two things, you have a perfect way to just be able to throw your gear in um, and you can keep them separate. And you know, if you really want to get fancy, you can pick up a dry bag and then you can just take all that stuff. Put your batteries and all the gear that you don't need access to right away in your dry bag. Take this and keep it separate. Put it on top of your stuff inside of your backpack. Throw this in and your gear is now in a waterproof, leak-proof bag. Um, and you know, you can pick up a, ba a bunch of these on Amazon. I think you can get them for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, the little stuff sack things, you can get these for, I think you can get like four or five of them for 15, $20. I mean, super duper easy, super duper simple. Um, and you're not spending all of that money. You don't have to go out and buy the most expensive bag. And you know, if you are going to be doing something where you know you're going to be getting really wet or you're going to be in a place where you have to keep all your gear dry, you can go with something like this. Um, you know, this is just a pelican case. Uh, you can actually fit way more than you would think inside of here. Um, and you know, you can break it out, you can foam it out. Um, but you know, I have the ability to put, this is actually cut out for my Sony, um, but I can drop that in here, I can drop my lens in, I can fill it up with batteries. And you know, this isn't light, but if I'm gonna be dropping into a canyon where I know I'm gonna be swimming and canyoneering, I can guarantee you that this is gonna keep your gear dry. Um, and again, this isn't a cheap option like the other stuff, but it, it doesn't limit me to only having the camera backpack. It gives me the ability to really choose exactly what, how I want to use it. And that's why I would say that if you're a landscape photographer or if you're somebody that is out on the trail, buy your backpack due to that first. Get something that's comfortable, get something that can handle the weight, uh, get something that can handle the amount of days that you want to be out there, um, and then realize that all of this stuff is going to go around. So am I saying don't buy this bag? No, no, I'm not. Um, what I'm saying is that decide what you need. Um, you know, if I can buy a backpack or I already have a backpack and I can buy inserts for under a hundred bucks, um, and I can save $300, what can I do as far as gear? You know, what can I do as far as maybe putting it towards a new lens or some lighting or something that I actually need to make beautiful photos? You know, I think sometimes we get trapped in the way the bags look, if there's magnets, how it attaches, whatever it might be. Um, and we forget that, you know, all we need to do is be able to carry our camera someplace so we can make photos. Um, and I also want to say again that if your camera is inside your bag, you are not taking photos. Uh, if it is in there, uh, and I'm guilty of this myself, especially when I get tired, that's why I'm trying the new system with the bag um, and keeping it on my chest right here, uh, you know, instead of even on the clip, because I feel like sometimes on my Peak Design clip, it just gets, it gets uncomfortable at times. Um, so having that bag right there, keeping it safe, but being able to pull it out really easy, make a photograph, put it back away, keep it protected, I like instead of having to take off my whole backpack, um, you know, so it, it's again, it comes down to what do you need? Do you need to be able to carry warm gear because it's freezing cold? Uh, you know, I, I think about even just this backpack, if, if I went and only took one body 
everything else, I could put a puffy coat in the top and I could put a thermos on the side if I wanted to take my tripod out and use this, you know, whereas with that REI backpack, I can, I got a pocket for everything. It's designed to carry gear outdoors. This is designed to carry cameras. Um, and like I said, if you're in an office, if you're on a plane, if you're, um, you know, going someplace and you need to look really professional, uh, if you need a pocket for your business cards where you can keep everything, you know, I totally get it. That's, that's what this is. But I want to ask you again, is it worth the money? Um, or could you, you know, get something discounted, something that's not the name brand that you could use as a client and get some inserts and actually use your gear. So, you know, really folks, it's, it all comes down to you. You're, you do what you want. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just telling you from experience that I would have not bought this bag if I could go back in time. I would have saved the money and I would have put it towards a new lens. I would have put it towards, again, lighting, uh, a new mic, something that would be really useful in helping me make videos or photos instead of something that looks cool and you know this bag does it looks good it's really neat it looks nice you got all the clips you got all the places where you can put everything um but i wouldn't recommend buying this again and i wouldn't recommend spending god there are some of them that are so expensive um you don't have to do that especially when you can get this for $199, or you could wait till it's on sale like I did and get it for 138 bucks. 55 liter REI backpack that I got for 55 bucks and it is very quickly becoming my favorite backpack that I've ever purchased. So, you know, you got choices. Like I said, I don't wanna tell you what to do. Uh, I just think that, you know, getting something, if you're gonna be outside and you're gonna be carrying heavier gear and you need it rather than looking cool. Just my opinion. All right, y'all. You know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please go down, hit the like button. If you're feeling super generous, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you all back in the next video. Be well, my friends. Save the money. Get something cool. Get a new camera. Get a get a drone. Get a I don't know. Get whatever you want. You do you. Everybody gets to decide themselves. It's not my choice. It's yours. Thanks for watching. Should I like? strap it to the outside or something here. I mean, this is the one thing that I wish I could get in this bag. Water. Just ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Hey, good boy, come here. Oh, who's my buddy? Oh, who's my camera helper, huh? Oh, thanks. Thanks for the lovings. Oh, yeah. You smell like dog food. Yeah. You smell, you smell like dog food. <laughs> is everything cool? Are we good? Are you okay? <laughs> I love you, buddy. All right, let's look at the camera. Let's check the camera. Oh, boy, boy.